Yankees hosting the Mariners. The Mariners are plus 115 on the money line. The Yankees are minus 135 over under seven and a half runs. Mariners getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 180, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And for the Yankees laying a run and a half, they are plus 160, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win by two. And right off the bat, to me, the line is just telling you that this is a trap game because everyone is going to try to bet the Yankees, especially with Cole at minus 135. Now, Kirby pitched once against the Yankees this year, eight shutout innings. It took the Mariners 10 innings to win the game, but they beat the Yankees 1-0. That was in Seattle, and he struck out 7 in that game. The Mariners are 6-4 as a team in Kirby's last 10 starts. He's averaging 6 and a third innings pitched and 5.9 strikeouts per game in those games. Cole did not pitch... Well, the Yankees lost both of his starts against the Mariners last year. The first outing was not good. 6 innings, 6 runs, 6 earned. They lost that game 7-3. That was in New York, and he struck out 8 Seven shutout innings, and they lost that game 1-0 in 13 innings, and he also struck out eight. So eight seems to be the magic number when he faces the Mariners. The Yankees are 6-4 and four as a team with Cole on the mound in his last 10 starts. They've lost his last two starts. He's averaging five and two-thirds innings pitched and 6.2 strikeouts per game in those games. Head-to-head, -head, the road team is 6-4. and four. The Mariners are 6-4. and four. The underdog is 7-3 and three on the money line. The underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is 8-2. There have been three one-run games in their last 10 meetings, including the last game that they played against each other, and three out of the last five that they've played against each other. The over is 5-3-2, and two, and the over 7.5 runs is 6-4 and four in their last 10. For those who are concerned about the wind at Yankee Stadium, as of right now, which it is the night before, the wind is blowing in from right center field towards the third baseline at 9.2 miles per hour. The last game they, fit, they played against each other, was the game when the Kirby beat the Yankees 1-0 in Seattle. The game before that, the Yankees won 10-2. The game before that, the Yankees won 10-4. So the Yankees took two out of three against the Mariners this year in Seattle. Now, the Mariners are 2-2 two two in their last four, and they are 5-5 five five in their last ten. The under is 5-4-1 in their last ten games. Five runs, five runs, seven runs, and six runs. One run and a loss, three runs and a win, three runs and a loss, five runs and a win. For the Yankees, they've dropped their last four games. They are three and seven in their last ten. The under is hitting their last two. And the under is six, three, and one in their last ten games. Seven runs, 20 runs, eight runs, and uh, five runs. Three runs and a loss, five runs and a loss, two runs and a loss, one run and a loss. I understand Cole is on the mound, but the Yankees lost both of his appearances once in Yankee Stadium and once in Seattle last year against the Mariners. And the Yankees are struggling right now. So I'm going to take the Mariners with the money line. I'm going to take the Mariners getting the runs. I'm on the fence with the over-under, and I'm going to go. I'm going to lean under even though I feel that this over-under is really low. The Yankees haven't had much offense lately, and watch this be the game that they explode. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.